as we mentioned before, of course you have all the devices that humans have invented to help you fill up the present moment, to make it easier not to have any space whatsoever. <laughs> so whether it's your television or radio or cell phone or text messages or emails or Facebook or Twitter <laughs> or the old-fashioned magazine, when you do it you can sense the addictive nature of needing to fill up your inner space, it's an automatic thing, and people are actually afraid of the, to have a moment, they're afraid of having this a moment that's not filled up, then they feel there's something very wrong, and they might interpret this as, a, some people even feel anxiety, I should be doing something or thinking something or something wrong. They may feel unbearable boredom even after two minutes <laughs> not doing anything or they have something in the head a mind form that says there's so much to do come on do something somebody beating you up in the head you lazy so and so but you're missing out on something very precious and very vital and that is experience the depths of life rather than the continuous horizontal extension of life and you don't have to overdo it just spaciousness of the present moment and everything at this moment just is the way it is and you come to an acceptance and then the compulsive need to fill it up with something may subside for a moment and then there comes perhaps for some people a moment of unfamiliarity with having this space now then you accept that then it's actually oh, quite pleasant this moment. You might, occasional thoughts may come in, but they're no longer occupying your entire space. <coughs> and then you, this is the first step of appreciating what's around you. 